My Southern Opinion, I bring you battle rap, breakdowns, predictions, recaps. But today, I'm going to do a little something different. I want to talk about addiction. I think I can help you stop smoking cigarettes. Now hear me out. Listen to me. Do you really want to quit smoking cigarettes? Ask yourself that. Because it's hard. I'm telling you now. 12 years, 12 to 13 years, every day on lunch break, at home, uh, go through about two packs uh, every five days, I always bought my cigarettes uh, two at a time because it's a little cheaper, but yeah, I got ways you can quit smoking, check this out. Number one, like I said, you got to really want to stop. Now, I'm not saying you got to do this overnight. You know what I'm saying? This is a, it's steps. So what I did, me personally, let me tell you how I quit smoking. After smoking 12 years, I told myself I'm tired of buying cigarettes. I'm tired of smoking on, uh, you know, at work, on lunch break, on, uh, on first break, on last break. I'm tired of smoking, period. Tired of spending my money on it. Uh, I got to a point where them cigarettes got to taste some real good to me. Every time I turn around, I'm smoking a square. And uh, kept me a box of squares. You know. Um, but something told me, you got to let this go. Like, you got to quit. So, what I did was, first off, I didn't buy a pack no more. I told myself I wasn't going to buy a pack of cigarettes no more. Now, you're going to get urges. Them urges is a motherfucker. When they hit you, you you you, you got to, you know, I used to lift up, tear up my whole couch, lift that motherfucker in the air, looking for change, because I got to get that pack of cigarettes. See what I'm saying? Uh, I'm borrowing money. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't have it. But you got to have it. And... When you want one, it's just going to tear you up. You're still going to be thinking about it. So, get you some gum. Show you some gum. That's one way. Eat you a snack, corn nuts, something like that. Peanuts, cashews. The urge for a cigarette only lasts seven minutes. So, after that seven minutes, it's totally forgot about. You're not even thinking about it no more. So, do something to occupy you for seven minutes. Also, what I did was I got a black and mild. I know I'm not really addicted to black and milds like that, and I know I wasn't trying to. So I said, my biggest thing is let me quit the cigarettes. When that urge came, and it's just absolutely just a strong urge, because if it's a little urge, I could, you know, do something, play it off. But sometimes you get them urges where, no, nah, you got to smoke, man. You really want, you really want to smoke. You may be mad at something or... Somebody pissing you off or something like that. That's when I would say get a cigar, black and mild, something like that. Because it, it tastes nasty. You're not going to want to smoke that all the time. So you hit that mug a few times just to cool yourself off, whatever, calm yourself down, and that's it. Put it up. Next thing you know, you don't need a black and mild or nothing. You may get that urge. You may think about it. But just always think, man, I didn't came too far. I haven't had one in this month, haven't had one in this month, it has been three months for me now, I don't think about no cigarettes, you know what I'm saying, every once in a while I think about getting another black in my own smoking it, but that's not an everyday thing, it's not, right now I'm getting used to not inhaling nothing, putting nothing on your lungs, because that's what it be, man, chemical base, that chemical uh, that you used to, you're inhaling, you're letting out smoke, that's all it is, man. Once you get your mind ready, trained, and know you're not smoking, and you're good without it, it don't matter. You can walk past the smoke section all you want. You ain't going to want to smoke. That's past you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say take steps down. Take steps down.
and it may take a week or two, that leads on to where that urge gets smaller and smaller. Next thing you know, you, you know, a month without a cigarette, you know what I'm saying? A month without buying a pack. Stay without buying it. That's all you got to do. Hopefully this video helps somebody. Thank you for watching. I'll let y'all later.